Welcome to another episode of Sean's People. These are my lovely escort. So this is Phoenix. Hello. And this is Destiny. Good evening. And Morning, these are my other people. So these... <laughs> this is uh, this is Joe. This is Joe, you're a trustee of Pride. Excellent. This is Joe Ainsco. And his wife Stacey Ainsco. Nice to meet you all. How are you? How is everyone? Good, how are you? Fantastic. I'm just tripping over stuff here, so bear with me a second. How was everyone's weekend? Yeah, close, close, close. Busy, yeah. busy, busy, busy. Yeah. Busy? Yeah, one, you know, we're getting ready for Pride, so we've spent the whole weekend. It's happening this weekend, isn't it? So yeah. Obviously, you've got the Liverpool Village that's running this weekend as well, isn't it? That's what's yeah. happening. I, th I think it started it's just a, busy a couple time of weeks for ago, yeah. But Liverpool, it's isn't it? Not going, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So this is all the coming weekend, right? But let's go back to last week. That's like the hottest day of the year last week. You, where were you guys on the hottest day of the year? Like, I think it was at your, with you, wasn't it? Yeah, a food tasting, but you, yeah. Yeah. It was uh, the busiest, busiest day of the year and the hottest as well, sadly. Yeah. <laughs> to run around like a lunatic, sweating, but, yeah. but it was a good day, yeah. Have, have we, everyone here, where were you? What day was that? It was, on, was it Tuesday, was it? Tuesday. The hottest day? Tuesday, yeah. yeah. What were we doing on Tuesday? I had my bikini on. Um, you look nice in it, I think. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> apparently, it was the hottest day on Earth. Did you know that? It was on Earth? Yeah, yeah, apparently it's like 54 degrees in Kuwait, it was. Yeah. Wow. Apparently people like frying eggs on the pavement and everything. Hottest day on Earth ever. Yeah, because the, the last one was apparently in Death Valley in California before that. So, uh, yeah. yeah, this one was the hottest day on Earth. Wow. So, yeah. Did mm -hmm. you hear about what happened in Brighton Station down south? They closed the station, there's like 3,000 people Trapped outside, they can, yeah, they had some mass accused of people. I'd like, like, like to have a lot of food taste them on it. Exactly, that's it. But anyway, let's, let's go on to um, next weekend. We've got Pride coming up next weekend. You've got, what else has got, Liverpool Loves has gone on this weekend as well, that's hasn't it? That's the weekend after, it's yeah. the 6th of got, August. Got that as well. Mm. So, okay, you're going to Pride. Um, so, this, you've got this campaign because it come out of the shadows, isn't it? We so. have. We've already started Pride. Yeah. Uh, it started on Friday night. We've come out of the shadows. People might have noticed right across Merseyside um, there are buildings lit up in rainbow colours. Right. Um, it's actually something we've been planning since the spring. We've been working with uh, Jane Kennedy, the Police and Crime Commissioner for Merseyside, and her fund has supported this initiative. And then with uh, the terrible thing that happened in Orlando, Actually, buildings all over the world have been lighting up, but we've already got, we had this campaign in place. So if you're in Knowsley and you're going past the uh, leisure and sports centre there, you'll see that's beautifully lit up. Um, the police station in Canning, St George's Hall, Fact, town halls, including Wallasey Town Hall, Floral Pavilion in New Brighton, the list goes on. So, oh, and of course, the big wheel yeah. is lit in rainbow colours. And what's that about is saying actually, um, no discrimination is appropriate. You know, we're lighting up to say, you know, have a little think about this in the week up to our big event. Yeah, that's cool. So, so, so I was talking about this, uh, was it coming out of the Shadows campaign though? Um, I mean, it's a lot of people out there who do have trouble like telling people that when they're coming out. And so, so a lot of people, I heard of yourself, you struggle with this, haven't you? I think so. I mean, I'm 50 now. So yeah. when I was realising that I was a lesbian back in the 1980s, it's a very different climate. And I think, I think if you talk to a lot of people of my generation, they will tell you it was, it was uh, a struggle. Now, that's not to say that young people now don't have some issues with coming out as mm. well. It's not to say, oh, you know, we had it hard and you've all got it easy now. Yeah. I think the climate has changed a great deal. Yeah. And one of the reasons for having something like Pride is to help people with that. Yeah. Um, you know, it, it's still hard for people. I, th I think if you have a think about it, to have to tell people something so basic about yourself yeah. and to have to keep telling people and keep telling people, you know, I think it's something that maybe people who aren't um, LGBT uh, might not always think about. Actually, you have to reintroduce a part of yourself yeah. every time you meet somebody new or every time you take on a new job or every time you know, you're in a new social situation. So Come Out of the Shadows is a really important campaign. Yeah. Um, we want to get away from that, that kind of stereotype, really, that, that people are, are, living, are living two lives, yeah. you know. I, I actually know someone who's like, I've got a friend, he's like, um, he's got, and I'm not just saying, I'm not saying I've got a friend, it's actually, I do have a legitimate friend here, right? <laughs> uh, but he's got his friend, he's actually got a boyfriend, but he's, um, yeah, he's, his boyfriend hasn't even told his parents so they have to keep the relationship quiet. 
because he's just worried about what his parents are going to like disown him and stuff. So it must be must be kind of tough being in that situation. I think it's really tough for people, yeah. and I think it's very bad for people as well. I think it's very <laughs> bad for your mental health yeah. to have to keep something so important about yourself quiet like that. And I think my my I, I think also part of what happens is it's your own internal homophobia or transphobia. I think we 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 still live in a world where there are negative messages around that and we're all about getting rid of that yeah and what I would say is when I started to come out I realized how unfair I'd been on the people around me because I'd made the assumption they would have a problem and yeah. they didn't yeah. <laughs> so you know I think when you say to somebody who's your best friend actually I'm gay and they go thank god because I thought you were ill <laughs> I thought there was something. I thought she said, I knew there was something up. I knew you wanted to tell me something. I thought you were going to tell me you had cancer. Actually, you're telling me you're gay. Who cares? So yeah. I think that there's a real big important step around there to say don't underestimate the people around you. You know, you might find actually they're ahead of you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But you'll come back in part two to talk more about Pride, aren't you? Yeah. And we're going to talk more about your show. You're coming up in November, isn't it? The Ruby it Slippers. Is November. Yeah, you'll be sticking around for that. Mm -hmm. For That's definite. Cool. But in the meantime, we're going to talk to you, Joe and Stacey, about you've just launched a new food company, a vegan organic company. Yeah. Um, called Plant. Yeah, it's called Plant. Yeah, yeah. Um, so have you got a story behind this? Where did, where did it all come from? What made you well, idea? it's it's been it's been a you know quite a long process. We as as we looked into we looked a lot into what our food, what we what we eat, you know, a couple of years back, and it's been a gradual process. But the dairy industry was we wasn't really comfortable with drinking milk anymore because the way the the animals are treated and things like that. So we cut out dairy. But then that led us on to thinking, well, I'm going a minute. You know, I wouldn't hurt to fly me, but then we're eating animals were pretty much tortured, so that just didn't sit right with us. So we, yeah. we cut we cut meat out and we just you know, we, so it was a gradual process but then we we become full vegan, you know. Yeah. We have been for a while now and it's been since being vegan. And, you know, we like to go out and eat quite a bit, you know what I mean? We do like to be honest, even, you know. <laughs> and it, it's difficult. It's difficult yeah. for vegans to find, you know, really good quality food. Um, about when they go out to eat, you know, even just in my working day. Yeah. If I want to pick some lunch up while I'm out around town, it's hard. So um, I'm hoping to give really good quality organic food what's 100% vegan. I mean, you know, it's not just because, so, solely because it, I want to provide food what is you know heals people rather than harms them and also doesn't harm any anything in the process of getting it to the table you know what i mean um because of our struggle to find really good quality stuff you know exactly. so, so it's been a struggle but what are you um, hoping to do after you, you've got a stall launching down in liverpool village this yeah. week right yeah because we're launching a stall um thursday morning we'll be ready to start yeah. serving food um Everything we sell is going to be 100% organic and 100% vegan. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I want to see how it goes. I want, I want to see what the what the re, um, response is like and see if the you know see if the demand's there. I'm sh you know, I, I don't want to just accommodate the vegan community, which I'm hoping do take it to heart. Yeah. Because the, you know what what it's about the fact that, it, yeah. but also the health aspect of it. Actually, because I came with some of your food tasting yeah. the other day, and it was actually it was actually very nice. I only stuck around for the sequels, but I, yeah. it was actually really nice. What, yeah. What's the name of that first dish we had? The um, we we done a we done a raw a raw. It's like a cold slaw. It's it's raw yeah. sweet potato, raw, raw courgette, yeah. and raw curry. And it's all mixed in with raw, raw peanut butter and chilli and garlic. And it doesn't sound like it, but it's it's really, yeah, really lovely and all, all raw, all organic and all really healthy. So we, the chef, the chef who we're working with, Chris, is just he's outstanding and he's helped us a lot with him um, being able to eat really well, really healthily, but completely vegan. So yeah. we're, we're going to give it a go down at the um, at the pier head. If we can, if we can build up the um, the demand for it, yeah. then maybe looking to open a restaurant next year, which is um, again. Would you again, open a restaurant in Liverpool? Would you go a bit more nationwide, or we'd, we'd love to start? Yeah, we just we just want to just start in Liverpool, and you know yeah. where, where we're from. And I mean, you know, I'm not I'm not some big multi millionaire businessman who's just trying to you know put money into something. This is something that we're doing because we believe in it. Yeah, and we want to provide really good food. What? heals people rather than harms them. You know, you, the, the vast majority of times you'll go out to eat, yeah. you'll, you'll leave unhealthier. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? No matter where you go. Yeah. And we want you to leave 
athlete health improved exactly. in a way. Because you know, didn't you used to be a boxer? Is that right? Yeah, I used to box. Yeah, I used to box. Yeah, I, used to box um, I was a professional boxer. I, had, I boxed all my life, and yeah. I still coach now at my old club, at Cave Tail. Do you um, think as a sportsman, this sort of food helps you work better as well? For this would like encourage. I, I don't. I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I know that, and I wish. I wish I would have had the knowledge. Knowledge of gain now from friends of mine. It's upskilled me. I wish I would have had it before I started my right, boxing okay. career. At least when I started my professional career, because you know I used to think that as long as I trained hard and you know I dieted then I'd be okay, but it's nutrition you need, it's not just dieting and, and st you still have little like bits of rubbish, And but as long as you're training hard enough, you can lose it. It's the quality of what you eat, you know what yeah. I mean? So So you're launching this Thursday down the pierhead yeah. at yeah. the Liverpool Village. Yeah. So if people want to come and try your food, they can try it out there. Yeah. You'll be down there from Thursday. Yeah. For anyway, cheers, right. Thursday. Yeah, yeah. But you'll be disappearing now, aren't you? You guys are sticking around for part two, aren't you? You're yeah. going to come back to talk about Pride, the Ruby Slippers, and we're going to give away some more tickets to the Odin Liverpool one. See you after the break. And welcome back to part two. We're still on the couch. We're not still on the couch. It's the first time we're on the couch now. With Destiny, Phoenix, and Joan. Nice little tree. You know, trio there, isn't it? It's a lovely little trio. <laughs> when shall we three meet again? <laughs> <laughs> we're coming. Sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. I didn't mean it. I've left me blue, <laughs> Right. We should also talk about, though, your Ruby Slippers show, shouldn't we? Because that's coming to Liverpool in, no, well, I suppose up in Northwest in November, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So what is the Ruby Slippers? Uh, it's the story of Raz and Ryan and Rachel. It's very complicated. Is it? It's a complex storyline, is it? Phoenix, I can't really it's... do it. Can you explain it? I, try. <laughs> I don't want to give too much away. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a barrel of laughs, some really, really, really funny moments. Yeah. And then some really nice moments as well. Just about friendship, love. Um, identity, I guess, as well. And really, the kind really of struggles show. that people have with coming to terms with some of that as well. Yeah. Mm. You know, because it's still, you know, there's a lot of people uh, don't necessarily have a supportive environment, so they find it difficult to actually, you know, express who it is that they yeah. really are. Yeah. But this has been on before your play, hasn't it? So it's like, where, where was it last time? Yeah. Sold out. It at was. the Lantern Theatre. the Lantern Theatre, wasn't it? Mm. Yeah. Phoenix is always a sellout. <laughs> what's, the, what's the feedback? <laughs> 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 what is the feedback like from the show, is it? Amazing, good. actually. Yeah, really, really good. Really good. Yeah, really good. That's why it's coming back again. Yeah, because yeah. it yeah. is genuinely, it's really very, very funny. I think it's brilliantly well, written. I think yeah. it's really beautifully written. Uh, when I first read the script, like, I know these people. I know them because I've worked in, yeah. in gay bars and clubs for donkey's years. Yeah. And I know these people. Yeah. It was like, you know, meeting old friends again. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's great. It's a really lovely piece. That's good. So it's on for three dates in November, isn't it? So it's the second, the fourth, and fifth. Second, third, and fifth. Ah, so yeah, yes. close. I nearly. I nearly. Nearly. I so <laughs> great, isn't it? Yeah. The second, we're in Blackpool at yeah. Funny Girls, yeah. and then the third, we're at uh, St Helens at the Theatre Royal, and yeah. then on the fifth, we're at the Epstein, and there's two shows on the fifth. That's so cool. there's an early and then a later. So can people book tickets for your website or? Yes. Yeah. Uh, slippers on stage. And, and you, you can also follow that on Twitter yeah. with the, hand, it's called a handle. Is it called a handle? It's called, is it a handle? I don't username? know what it's called. Is it a hand? I think it's a handle. We call it a handle. We we'll call it a <laughs> desk <laughs> at Slippers on Stage. <laughs> <laughs> Have you got, you also, sorry, you love ladies, sorry. You're also involved in Pride this year, aren't you, as well? Yes. 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 So, so what are you doing with Pride this year? Uh, well, you have to come and find out. Well, I, have, do you? I know you're at the launch of it, aren't you? Like the, yeah, we yeah. were at the launch. We had yeah. a nice time. That was great. Yeah. And who was the other lady there? Ellen, Ellen and Ellie. Ellen oh, and she was she really was great. Good. We enjoyed that. She's also at Pride. Yeah, she is. Yeah. She's, yeah. Yeah, so that she's was good. Gorgeous. So yeah. people can see, if they come to see Pride, they they'll see you on the Saturday? Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah we'll be there. We're in the parade yeah. and we'll be waving and talking to people and <laughs> doing various other things. <laughs> and then we'll be also on stage. Yeah. Um, later on in the day, so come and see us. We will, I think everyone will. Do you want to tell us more about Pride, Jen? What's going so on? I do. I'm just to, yeah. to say, go and see Ruby Slippers. I saw it at the Lantern. Did you? It's a hoot and it's got a real heart to it. Is real, it? really good play. And uh, these two are astounding, isn't it? I had to, to say that, all the battle. 
<laughs> but, <laughs> but Liverpool Pride, I, I mean, we're just so excited this year. I'm wearing the T-shirt from the very first year. Yeah, but that's six years ago. Yeah, because it, this year, it feels like we've come full circle and back to the spirit of that first year. So yeah. I think people will love this year. And um, we've got two days for the first time. So Saturday, the March. Remember, everybody is welcome on the March. Please come and join us. We think we think we we've already taken more registrations for the March than we've ever had before. So this is the year to come and march with us. Stop the city in its tracks. And then on Saturday, three stages. Festival stage, plateau stage, where you can see these two. And um, first time, our garden stage, which is also our Find Your Pride Youth Zone. So very importantly, um, we've got a dedicated area for young people at Pride this year yeah. to come and find out a bit more about what's going on and have a say. Yeah. Um, we're working with Gyro and Wirrellbrook with that. And then the first time, we're doing Sunday, which is called <coughs> We Are Family. Yeah. And it's what we were talking about a little bit before, about recognising that, you know, we're not lone beings. We haven't landed from Mars. Yeah. Well, I haven't, so I don't know about you two. Uh, uh, you know, we have families. We, we're both from families and we create families and we are just part of the exactly. community. And the Sunday will have two stages, uh, plateau stage and garden stage. And there'll be lots and lots of things for families and young people. You can find this out on your website, can't you, as well? Absolutely. All the details on the website. Fantastic. Um, there's lots and lots on our social media as well. Cool. There's lots of little video clips Brilliant. and all kinds of things to let you know what's going on. But there's something else happening this weekend. You know, the Jason Bourne film comes out. I know it's not Pride. It's, it's not... It's got no level on Pride at all, has it? But the Jason Bourne film comes out, I see, and I've got to give tickets away for that. So I have to bring it up for us. So, yeah. Are you a fan of Jason Bourne? Um, I don't mind a bit of Matt Damon. You like a bit of Matt Damon, right. yeah? Yeah, we can cope with Just a bit of that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you a fan of Matt Damon? Or? Yeah. yeah. Matt Damon. <laughs> it's all so action, isn't it? It's all action. It is all action. But we're giving away tickets. We're giving away four pairs of tickets for the new Jason Bourne film. And this is from the Odin Liverpool One. So the question is, if you want to win these, is there's been five Jason Bourne movies uh, with Jason Bourne be in the fifth movie, but which, this is a confusing question, but which of the four, five Bourne movies didn't star Matt Damon? Do you know this one? But don't answer the question because you're going to give it away. Wow. Right, there's five Go Bourne on. movies. I'm a bit Only slow. one didn't star Matt Damon. Oh, okay. So I just need to know who, which one that was. What was the name of that Bourne film that didn't star Matt Damon? Was it so View to you, a Kill? Huh? Was it View to a Kill? Something like that. Okay. Yeah, Tomorrow Never Dies, wasn't it? Or something like that. I don't know. <laughs> uh, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you want to send the answers to the email address on the screen, or if you want to tweet it to the Twitter address or the Twitter handle, as we've decided now on the screen, that'd be that'd be great. Um, I think that's the end of the show, though. Now, because we got yeah, we've run out of time. I could talk to you all day, really, but you know, I'm not allowed to. So, but I'm going to see you at Pride anyway, and I think I'm sure these other people are going to see you at Pride as well. And if you want to find out more information, go to your website, and you can just find out what's going on, can't they? Brilliant. Well, thank you very much for coming on the show today. Thank you so and much. Thank you for all my us. lovely thank crew here you. as well. And uh, we'll see you next week on Sean's People.
na 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 na